Coming up on this episode of The Power of Real Estate. Amanda Mm -hmm. is bringing her personal just experience and insight when it comes to helping physicians look for a home. So that way, if you've ever thought about helping somebody who's a doctor or in the medical field, she's going to be able to maybe help you with some insight that you might not necessarily know. She spent over 20 years as a successful realtor and realtor coach, recipient of over 40 sales, leadership, and literary awards. From the legendary Music Row in Nashville, this is The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Hi, welcome. All right, we're excited to be with you today. We've got Amanda Barron here with us. With She is with Synergy Realty Network. Hi, Amanda. How are you doing, honey? Hi, Michelle. I'm doing great, thanks. I'm excited to be here. Oh, well, we're excited that you're with us. So for those of you that are listening today, we've got Amanda here to talk about three myths when it comes to physicians looking for a home. So many times we think we know something that's going on when it comes to physicians or whatever it might be. Sometimes people can provide insight for us. It makes me think of a show recently where we had a guy who was an expert when it comes to insurance. And we were able to talk with him about myths, factor myth kind of thing. And I learned so much. We did two shows with him, actually, because it was just so much information. So Amanda Uh is bringing her personal just experience and insight when it comes to helping physicians look for a home. So that way, if you've ever thought about helping somebody who's a doctor or in the medical field, she's going to be able to maybe help you with some insight that you might not necessarily know. Amanda, first, I want to know, so how long have you been a licensed real estate agent? I just celebrated my third anniversary. Okay, so you can specialize and find that niche right off, right? Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> All can. Right. All right, so how did it come about that you ended up helping physicians look for homes? When we first moved here from out of state, didn't know to Seoul. We didn't know anything about the area. Um, we moved here for my husband's residency, actually, um, down at Vanderbilt. So that's kind of what started the whole motion as far as getting into the medical side of it, because there is a little bit different avenues that you have to go down and understand a little bit more of it. And since I had the personal side of it and what we went through, it gave me the idea to help those that are going through the same things. So when Mm -hmm. you were looking for a home, were you able to have a real estate agent that helped you that knew the ins and outs of physicians looking or was this something that you kind of stumbled through and and had to navigate and uh, on your own? I stumbled through it, to be honest, and kind of had to navigate on my own. I came here from another state with a three month old baby and a husband that couldn't get off work. And I was on my own to find a house. All right. So here's what we're going to do. This is so great because you have the insight, not only from the real estate agent perspective, but also because of your personal perspective. So Amanda Barron here with us with Synergy Realty Network, she's going to share with us three myths when it comes to physicians looking for a home. So Amanda, what is myth number one? It's typically the physician saying, I don't have time to look for a house. I work crazy hours, and usually you're only dealing with one of the two people buying a home. Mm -hmm. Usually the physician's working all the time, and you've got their spouse. And so one being flexible is you've got to work around their crazy hours so that they can participate in the home buying process. But I have kind of created this program where I'm providing a service for them to help them remove all of those fears of not having time, you know, having a special relationship with a lender, with a title company that can do remote closings. I recently had a closing down at Vanderbilt because the physician was on call and couldn't leave the hospital. So I brought everything to them. Yeah, um, that's good. And we did it. Yep, we did it right there in between their cases. Oh, that's great. Um, that's a great mm-hmm. idea. Um, yeah. Have you ever done it where maybe they did a power of attorney for their for their spouse? I have. I've done power of attorney for spouses and you know, we FaceTimed through properties to narrow down homes that were their top two. And then when they were able to break away from work, we would go and look at those top two. And then we were able to, as a team, figure out which one fit their needs best as well. Oh, that's great. Have you ever used Marco Polo? <laughs> um, I have, actually. And I was recently introduced to it. And I think it's a it's a fun way for you to at least get some info back and forth and especially around their particular schedule because FaceTime, you know, is limited. Yeah, FaceTime, you FaceTime them and they have to look at it right then. So you have to do it while they're, it's good for them. They're available mm-hmm. um, at that time. But Correct. with Marco Polo was where you can actually record it, send it to them and 
they can watch it when it's good for them. So if they're with a, uh, let's say they're with a patient at the time, then while you're at the property showing it to the spouse, you don't have to wait for them to get out of taking care of that client. You can go on ahead and send it to them. And then as soon as they get out, they can watch it when it's good for them, which is another app. Um, So for those of you that are wondering what in the world is Marco Polo, it's an app. Yeah, it's a great app. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, so Amanda Barron with Synergy Realty Network. She's been licensed for over three years. We're so excited to have her here. She's sharing her just really expertise when it comes to helping physicians look for a home. So she's sharing three myths when it comes to physicians looking for a home. So Amanda, what is myth number two? I can't buy a house because I have nothing saved for a down payment. A lot of times they've got huge medical debt. They have had to work, but for little pay and they've not been able to save anything for that down payment. Through my own personal experience and helping others through the years, there are special programs and loans out there that allow them to purchase a home with nothing down and they also don't have to pay any PMI. So that's fantastic. So maybe find a lender in your area that has a good Mm -hmm. physician's type of of loan program. A lot of real estate agents may not even be aware that something like that is available. So that's fantastic information, Amanda. And then we're going to talk about the third myth when it comes to physicians looking for a home. Amanda, what's number three? My debt on student loans is too high to qualify for a loan. And a lot of times those medical school loans, they don't affect your debt to income ratio if they're deferred for at least 12 months. And a lot of times they can be approved and close on a home before they've actually even started their job. And a lot of them don't know that. So they can use your contract and predicted income as evidence of your future earnings instead of actual pay stubs. That's so good. All right. Great information. Mm-hmm. Amanda, if somebody has any questions, wants to reach out to you and touch base, what is the best way for them to be able to reach out to you? Yeah, they can call me, text, or email. My phone number is 615-202-5504. Email me at abtnhomes at gmail.com. All right, Amanda, we appreciate you being here on the show and sharing such great, valuable information. We'll see you next time here on The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore. Realtors, if you're ready for the latest tools, scripts, and techniques, visit realestatecoachingsimplified.com. We'll see you next time on The Power of Real Estate with Michelle Moore.